Girl, you know I love me some bargains. Yes, you do, because saving money is making money. And, And this, this is Chick to Chick. Let me tell you a little something about my chick, Flora. Who, me? Mm -hmm. This one. She is Dollar Tree Queen. She is the queen of bargain hunting. I have never met anyone who is so good at finding a deal. And you know what? She is willing to walk away if there is no deal. That is something I actually love about you because you are so good about being smart and thrifty. I am. Mm -hmm. I am. I like to go and I like to shop at the end of the season. Yeah. When the clothes aren't 50% off, they aren't 75% they are off. Slashed. I want 90% off that sweater. <laughs> she wants someone to hand it to her and go, please take this. Yeah, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I'll take it. And I, you know, I love the dollar store too. I mean, everything yeah. I need, I think to myself, I'm going to go to the dollar store yeah. first to see if they have yeah. it. And they usually do like a pair of scissors. Oh yeah. For a dollar. Mm-hmm. I, I got to be honest, though. You're upset. Just about upset. killed me. <laughs> just about killed me when they raised their prices at the dollar store. Yeah. Some stuff's now a dollar twenty-five. It was like, I was like, this is a big one. This That's is where inflation kill hurts. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but really, at a dollar twenty-five, it's still a bargain. Yeah. I mean, really, it's yeah. a pair of scissors. Right. They work. Why should I pay five dollars? Some, some of those kitchen gadget utensils. Oh my gosh. I mean, especially when you're trying to put your kid into an apartment or you just need to replace something quick. Come on, you can't beat it. You know what? Too wrapping paper. I was just going to say that in bags. Bags, scotch yes. tape, yeah, paper, no all of that stuff. Like, yeah. why would you spend five dollars on a greeting card? Yes. When you can get it for 50 cents. Just write it on a piece of paper for me that you snipped up from a piece of trash paper you're going to throw away. That's all I'm asking. You sound like my son. That's the way it is. That's what he does. He's <laughs> like, Mom, I'm making your Mother's Day card. <laughs> it's great. Whatever. Anyway, we have a guest today that you love her and she has some great ideas. Well, you know what? Really, <laughs> saving money is yes. making money. And our guest today is Michelle Legg. She's got a blog and it's called Saving Money and yeah. making money. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Michelle, I'm your biggest fan. I <laughs> love this. So please tell us, why did you decide to do this? And like, are you, are you a bargain queen just like I am? I think I am more of a bargain queen, <laughs> believe it or not. I know, I know, I know you can't believe it, but yes. Um, ever since I was a little girl, I, you know, I'm, I always had my head down looking for pennies or quarters or dimes or whatever. Um, And this all sort of started, I was at lunch with one of my girlfriends and she was telling me about that her husband had her make, you know, run some errands and he was picking up and it was some sort of meat. I want to say it was like chicken breast or something like that. And she said he was going to, you know, ABC store. And I said, well, why is he going there? Because XYZ has it on sale, you know, for like, at the time it was like ridiculously cheap, like $1.69 a pound or something like that. She goes, how do you know that? And I'm like, I don't know. I just, you know, pay attention to that kind of stuff. And then she goes, well, what else do you know? And I'm like, well, what do you mean? And she was like asking me all these little things. And I kept telling her, she goes, oh my gosh, girl, you got to start a blog. So that was three years ago. So uh, during COVID, I finally got my act together and said, you know what? You got to do this. And it finally went live just this past uh, January. Uh, you know what? I think it's great. Yes. I think people love this type of stuff. And mm-hmm. can you text me the next time chicken's on sale? <laughs> can you text me and tell me? Because I'm not that good. Yeah. You're right. You're better than You know, me. some people are really <laughs> right on that. And we love people like you, Michelle, because for those of us who just aren't thinking that way, we just get too busy. You are the shortcut. So what shortcuts or what tips that do you have that you can share with us today? Okay, all the tips that I'm going to show you are called my sense sense. So it's C E N T S S E N S E. I like that. It makes Uh sense and you save sense. Oh, do you see that? That's exactly it. Okay, so my first thing I'm going to show you today is easy for pennies how to do, how to make your own air freshener at home. Okay. Pretty simple, right? So here's a bottle, just a plain old bottle. 
that you can get, get at, at the, the dollar, dollar store. store. <laughs> and actually, I can get this one now. at the dollar store. But you can also use, like if you're done with some, some other bottle that's a spray bottle, you can just wash that out and use that as well. So what you do, this is just filled with water. Then I got a dryer sheet. Oh, okay. Well, this this is a brand a brand new one. It wasn't a used one. Although you could use a couple used ones as long as it has a scent in. And then what you do, just put it right on in there. Shove it on in. There you go. We need smell a vision now. Yeah. And and how long does it have to sit in there to saturate to give it that fresh smell? I usually let it sit overnight. Mm. Because I figure that that's good enough, you know, and then just shake it and spray it and you're good. And you know what? That's great because you don't have any chemicals in that. It's safe for the environment. It's Mm -hmm. just water in a dryer sheet. I love Mm -hmm. that. Super cheap. What else you got? Okay. For grocery store shopping, get on your phone and go to Lozo.com. It's L-O-Z-O.com. Okay. And in it, you'll, um, the first thing that they'll have you do is put in your zip code and then it will give you a list of different uh, grocery stores that are in your area. So you click on that and this is, this is better than, it saves so much time because you don't have to coupon clip. Mm. So you put in everything that you want for on your grocery list and anything that's available in, on that list in your area will pop up with a coupon. Wow. Wow. You know what? That's good because you talk about coupons. You know, newspapers aren't a thing anymore. And that used to be my Sunday ritual. I get up, go outside, grab the newspaper, stack, stack a coupon. And I was clipping and clipping and sipping my (laughs) coffee and clipping. And I was a happy camper. Well, you know what? I, I don't get the newspaper anymore. There really aren't any coupons in there. And who has time to clip? Now it's right there at your fingertip. That's a great idea. Uh, Very much so, especially for a busy mom or even just someone who wants to be conscious about what they're consuming and how much it's it's costing. That's great, Michelle. Yeah. So what else you got? Okay. You got these big five, 10 pounds bag of potatoes. Okay. And you go to use them and you notice a couple of them have gone to seed. They started growing their little sprouts. Take your little apple, throw it in the bag, and it won't seed. What? Really? Why not? It's it's the gases that the apple emits that does it. So it makes those potatoes last longer. Right. They don't start growing those little spuds, getting, and then they get mushy and stuff like yeah. that. It slows it down. Yep. So the yep. combination... Now, of- Yep, go ahead. I've got, I'm, I'm going to take this one step further for you. Uh-oh. Okay, so now let's just say they do sprout. Save them. And when it's spring and you can go out and plant, cut out the potatoes, like where the eyes are, like cut them. So like in one potato, you might have like four or five plants. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now my husband built me out, out back. It's like a two foot by two foot. Um, don't know if you can see this or not, but it's like a little frame. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you put your little potatoes with the stem stuff coming up, fill it with dirt. Okay, a couple weeks later, you'll notice these little green plants coming up. Put a little second one on it. Okay, now this is a tricky part. You want to fill it with dirt up to the top, but you got to be very careful not to break off. Mm. the stems of the plant. Okay. When it starts peeking up again, do it a third time and then let it grow. Now you're going to have to water it and all that kind of stuff. And then if you want to know when it's ready that you can get your potatoes. And my grandma used to say, Oh, you'll know. And I, I never, <laughs> like, I, I, I never, you eyeball I, it. Like, okay, when will yeah, you know? Like, how, you'll how, know. how do I know when I can, you know, dig you'll them all know. out? You just know. You just know. <laughs> The plant actually, it dies, like it goes limp. Mm. Huh. And when it goes limp, that's when you know that you can harvest your potatoes. That's awesome. And you know what? Potatoes are a great staple for so many things. I think that they're very underrated. I love a good potato. You got anything else for us? 
Oh, I got lots of stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Of course you do. (laughs) Okay, so you get some flowers. Yeah. And let's just say your husband picked them or he picked them up somewhere and he didn't get that little tiny packet, you know, that you get from from the the food flower shops. Well, as you have to do, fill it with water, fill your vase with water, and then you can just top it off a little bit with seven up or Sprite and it will help last longer. Oh, seven up or Sprite, like just a little bit, like maybe. Just, yeah, like just a, a little bit. Now, okay. Like a quarter cup. Don't have seven up or Sprite. Also, what you can use is sugar. Mm. Huh. Okay. I have heard of that one. It's the sugar in the seven up and Sprite. Now you don't need much, like maybe like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, depending on how big your vase of flowers is. Okay. So it's the sugar that mm-hmm. keeps them fresh. Right. And then what I, what I do is every time I change the water, add a little bit more sugar and then cut off a little tiny bit of the stem so it'll keep them fresh. Michelle, these are all great ideas. I think people love this stuff and they want to hear more and they want to find out more. If people want to to get more information for you and to read up on your blog, where can they go? They can go to www.savingmoneyandmakingmoney.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Simple enough. These are great. Thank you so much, Michelle. We appreciate you being with us today much great tips i love oh that goodness that that kind of, i was like listening to her I, i'm I not gonna to go what's next i know what's I, next I, michelle not lie. like you know lot, you learned a lot of stuff on tiktok as well that yeah. way and i yeah. just keep scrolling I'm like, i didn't know that tiktok yeah. made me do it i learned that one this is fantastic really good good advice i really like that air freshener one. Oh, so smart because a lot of these air fresheners have all these chemicals, chemicals in, in them, them and yeah. i'll spray it and i'm like <coughs> yeah. like i'm getting gassed out yeah i like like that because well, it's, it's just easy. water it's easy you can get everything you need at the dollar store <laughs> <laughs> including your dryer sheet oh my goodness seriously i don't think you're gonna be in the couch long i think you're heading to the dollar store aren't you i know it's just it's it's dollar 25 now okay i can live with that i can live with that it's I hope okay you, i hope you can <laughs> and we hope that you will come back and join us when we are chirping about another topic